told me earlier on that you're boring. Yes. Yeah. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to just dedicate this little form, this little film to boredom and to the idea that you're boring and see, you know, what, or let the viewers decide whether you're boring or not. Now, That's a lot of pressure. Well, you, the thing is that what I like about what we, you know, the fact that what I like about you and what we've talked about um, since we met a couple of days ago is that it's not just that you're boring, it's that you're absolutely comfortable with being boring. Yeah? Yes. So when you say it's a lot of pressure, what's the pressure about? Why do I have to have people or the public judge with whether I'm boring or not? Well, because boredom is subjective, isn't it, really? Um. So um, other people might find you very interesting. Okay. <laughs> it's up to them to decide. I mean, okay. By now, I'm not, they may I'm have turned off already for all now. <laughs> you know, so what I'm going to be looking for in the comments, in the comments section, is, is how long they managed to survive watching the most okay. boring person that they've ever encountered. Okay. 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 Now tell me, you, you claim you're boring, but you're, yes. you're an academic, and you think yes. academics are basically boring. Is that right? Um, I couldn't speak for my colleagues, but I think I am. Right. But you also, you say you can't speak for your colleagues, but you were saying to me earlier off camera that you basically think <laughs> academia is full of boring people. We, um, I, well, let me rephrase that. I think there's a higher chance that in this industry there are more boring people. Right. Um, you know, obviously, people are now watching. You're in academia. Um, many of them would have turned off by now. But for the, people, <laughs> right, for the people who are still watching, okay, you're you're in in political science. Yeah? Correct. Can you tell us, is politics a science? Absolutely not. We just added the word so that we sound scientific. Right. Absolutely not. Um, and uh, again, if I can just sort of ask you, what, what do you think of people who go into politics? What do you think? Something's wrong with them. Right. They need, I mean, you know, I've kind of stood outside uh, 10 Downing Street suggesting that people who are in politics need a lot of psychological help, therapy. You I'm totally, yes, I'm totally with you on that. Great. Um, tell us, um, Tell us something boring about politi about political science. Bore, bore my viewers. Okay, so look, politicians are sick, right? Mentally, or maybe some other aspects as well. But we are a group of people basically making our livings by observing them. Like, how sick is that, right? Right. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> So you're, you're basically making your living uh, out of people that are really unwell. How well is that? Yeah, good question. Um, what What have you discovered um, since you've been studying all these years and teaching? Can you share with the public, the non-academic public? Yes. Yeah, so I guess I guess my observation so far. The ones that are still watching. I mean, right <laughs> now. You know, by right now they've probably all gone. There's probably just a few really hardcore people watching now. Yeah, so uh, I, I guess my observation really confirms my assumption about um, politicians being sick mentally, basically. Right. right so um, I guess especially politicians in democracies, right? Like how, how sick does a person have to be in order to go out and then tell others to vote for them, right? Right. So I think overall, yeah, it just confirms what I assumed previously. Right. Great. Well, thank you very much. Um, you've been, um, you haven't been that boring to be honest with you. <laughs> I was hoping I was hoping something slightly more boring. <laughs> you caught on an off moment. <laughs> Yes, I seem to have caught you in a slightly more interesting moment than, uh, than average. Um, just one last thing, just tell me a little bit more about ha coming to terms with being boring. Was that difficult? <laughs> How did you come to terms with being boring? It's, it just happens. Like. Well, I mean, when did you first realise you were boring? 
I think when I was... It was a dim awareness. I think when I was... When I was... I don't know. I think when I was in middle school, I was reading something serious as always. And then the boy sat next to me, laughed at me. And then I, I think that was probably... That's when you realized. And when did you come to terms with it? Maybe in college. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And you're single, right? So yes. if there's anybody out there that's equally as boring, are you looking for? <laughs> someone, are you looking for someone boring to be with? Maybe that's not a good idea because two boring people could be. <laughs> <laughs> like two negatives becomes positive or something. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 Someone a bit, bit, bit more interesting. Than you. But that's a very selfish idea, right? right. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Well, thank you very much. Thanks.